First up this evening, a disturbing story out of Trelawney, a mother alleging that her seven-year-old son was physically abused by other boys at the Clarkstown Primary School a week ago. And then worse, the distraught and angry mother ended up being thrown in jail when she went to the police station to report the matter. Why did the police do that and what happened to her child? Well, the details are pretty disturbing, so if your children are nearby, bear that in mind. Once again, if your children are in the room, we advise discretion. TVJ's Lana Gay Franklin filed this report from our Western Bureau in Montego Bay. We won't show you her face to protect the identity of her son or tell you her name. But this Trelawney mother says her seven-year-old son came home last week Monday and told her four male students, three she said of her son's age, along with an older boy, held him down while he was using the bathroom and inserted a piece of stick in his rectum. The mother said she went to the school the following day to find out what had happened. She said the parents of the other boys were called in, but contends that she was not satisfied with how the situation was handled by the school. Principal say nothing no happen. Guidance counselor say nothing no happen. So what is this in my child underpants? What is this? What is this? What is happened to Clarkson Primary? What is happened? I need justice for this. When TVJ visited the Clarkstown Primary School on Monday, both the principal and the guidance counselor did not want to speak on record about the matter. The mother says one of the boy's mother offered to take her son to a private doctor. She said the private doctor told her this matter must be reported to the police and the child taken to a hospital. She then took the child to the Falmouth Hospital where he was treated and given medication. The doctor in put on some something funny and push up it in my son bottom and take out piece of wood chip with the filth when they take it out they give me a medication to go and fill the doctor told me that is the medication gonna cost ten thousand dollars the woman says she visited the Clarkston police station on Friday to make a formal report, but instead she ended up getting locked up and charged with disorderly conduct. The woman says when she visited the police station, she was not convinced the police were dealing with the matter urgently, and so she got on her phone and started to call the divisional headquarters. She says a policeman accused her of trying to disrespect him. I go to the station and may complain and no one never was answering me and I get out of the station yard and policeman said, come out of the station yard, come out, come out, come out. I'm sick and tired of you, I'm sick and tired of you. And the policeman run me out of the station yard, come out, come out, come out. And I leave out of the station yard, said to him I saw a jeep coming. When I saw the jeep coming, I saw a surge in the jeep and I stopped the surge and talked to the surge and the other surge said I'm talking to the surge. So she wait, I don't know how far the jeep reach and she called me over and tell me to sit down on the bench. As I sit down on the bench, the handcuff go on my hand. They don't take any statement from my son, they don't take any statement from me. They just lock me up and send me to Falmouth State, Falmouth cell. She was locked up in front of her four children who had accompanied her to the station. The police called the children's grandmother to collect the kids. The woman spent the night in jail and was offered bail the following day. When we visited the Clarkstone police station, we confirmed that the woman was arrested and charged, but no report on the matter concerning her son was taken from her. The commanding officer for the Trelawney Police Division, Superintendent Dwight Powell, who is new to the division, was just hearing about the incident when we brought it to his attention on Monday. Superintendent Powell said he has assigned a senior officer to investigate. Lanigay Franklin, TVJ News.